Welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. In today's video, we'll be doing a speed boost. Let me go ahead and start by showing you how this is going to look. So whenever my character touches the red ball in the background, he's going to get a speed boost. Let's go ahead and see. So I'm going up to touch the ball. As soon as I do, then I get a major upgrade in my speed. All right, let's go ahead and dive into this and see how we can code this in Roblox Studio. Okay, so to get started making speed boost in Roblox Studio, the first thing we're going to do is insert a part into the game. You can choose whatever parts you like and also whatever color you like. Once you do that, we're going to come over to the Explorer menu and add a script onto our part. Once you open up the script, go ahead and delete the print hello world message. The first thing we're going to do is say local part is equal to script dot parent. On the, on the next line here, we're going to make a variable for our speed boost. So we're going to say local speed boost. And this is going to be equal to 150 to start with, but this will be the speed boost value. So if you want them to go faster, we'll choose a higher number later on. If you want them to go a little bit slower, then we'll choose a smaller number. After that, we're going to be, we're going to be making a function. So we're going to say local function. The name of our function is going to be speed, and inside the parentheses, we're going to put body part. Inside our function, the first thing we're going to do is say local humanoid is equal to body part dot parent colon find first child. Inside the parentheses, humanoid with a capital H. Okay, if humanoid. So just taking a quick break, what we're doing so far is we're starting to work on a function that takes in a argument called body part. We're going to be using that body part to find the character that it belongs to. And then if it's able to find a character, then we're going to write some more code right here. The next thing we're going to say is local current and then speed. So this is a variable called current speed. It's going to be equal to humanoid dot walk speed. So what this will do, it'll get the current walk speed of the humanoid character and store it inside of this variable called current speed. Next, we're going to say if current speed is less than speed boost. So this would mean the character doesn't have speed boost right now. If that's true, and I forgot my then. So if that's true, then what I'm going to do is set its uh, humanoid walk speed equal to the speed boost. I'm going to wait for five seconds. So this will give speed boost for five seconds. After that, I'm going to return to the normal walk speed by doing humanoid dot walk speed equal to current speed. So what I have right now is I have a function that checks to see if we have a character. If we have a character, then it's going to store the current walk speed of the character. This part right here says if it doesn't have speed boost already, then go ahead and give it speed boost by setting its walk speed equal to the value up here. It's going to give it speed boost for five seconds. After that five seconds, it's going to set its walk speed back to the normal walk speed. The last thing I need to do is just link this function to a touched event. So I'm going to say part dot touched, then colon, connect, and then the name of my function, which is speed. All right, let's go ahead and test this out and see how we did. Okay, so now that I'm back in the game, I'm going to go ahead and touch the ball and see if I get speed boost. All right, and it looks like I am moving pretty quick. All right, and if you noticed, every time I hit this ball over here, it rolls, and it looks like it's rolling off the screen now. So to fix that, what you want to do if you want it not to roll around is you need to make sure the part is anchored. So go ahead and click on your part, 
and then under the edit section up here we're going to press anchor let's go ahead and test it again and this time when i touch the the red ball it won't roll around the screen okay so now i can hit it as many times as i want and it's not going anywhere all right, so that gets you a basic version of the speed boost. Let's go ahead and go back to the script and see how we can change it a little bit. So if I want my character for some reason to move faster than it already is, I can do that by changing this value up here. So instead of 150, let's try 300. So that'll be double the value. So let me go ahead and stop the script and then we'll retest. All right, so let's see if we can notice a difference with double the speed boost. Oops, and I jumped up in the air. So for me, it's kind of hard to tell if there was a difference or not. To me, it just looks like he's going just as fast as before, but he may be going faster. I just can't tell. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of different things. So I'm going to head back to the code. Okay, so what we're going to add to this script is a couple lines of code that whenever you touch the ball, it'll disappear. And then after the five seconds, it'll reappear. So what we're going to do is right under this if statement here, we're going to say part dot transparency is going to be equal to one. So one means invisible, uh, 50 would be about halfway visible, and then zero would be completely visible. So that'll make the part invisible when it gets touched. After the five seconds, we're going to make it reappear. So we're going to say part dot transparency is equal to zero. So that'll make it visible again. And we're also going to add one more line of code down here. We're going to say part dot can collide is equal to false. So what this line of code does, it'll make the character's ability to run into the object false. So what that means is he can go through the object. So if I just had this line right here, just the part.transparency, it'll make the part invisible, but it's still there. So I couldn't actually go through it. I could actually stand on top of it. So this part right here just makes it so that I can actually walk through it. So it actually makes it uh, feel like it's actually gone. I'm going to add this part down below here as well. So let me just copy this part. And this time I'm going to set it back to true. So this will make it where I can actually run into the object again. All right, let's go ahead and test our code. Okay, so now whenever I touch the ball, it disappears. I have speed boost. And then after five seconds, once I lose my speed boost, then the ball reappears. And just in case I wasn't clear with that explanation, let me go ahead and take out this line right here. And this one down below, and I could just show you what it does without this line of code. Okay, so now I'm going to run into the ball. And you see I hit the ball because it's still there. I can still run into it. So let me show you one more time. So before, when I run into the ball, it sent me up in the air. And that was because the can collide is still on. So I can still run into the object. So even though it's invisible, the object is still actually there. So I'm standing on top of the object right now. So hopefully that makes it a little bit more clear. So let's go ahead and add that back in real quick. So the first one will be false so that we can't run into the object. And then the second one will be true so that it will be able to be collided with again. Okay, so that's going to be the end of this tutorial. What we did in this video is we made a part that when you touch it, it gives your character a speed boost. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for the next one.